why as an industry do we struggle so hard with leading with our true authentic selves and how we position ourselves to the market? It's very, it's, it's completely crazy. It, it's, it's, I've been all the sort of workshops that we've been doing for the last five years have been all around this around like, like your email newsletter, like people want to know you, right? They don't want to know anyone else. Like that's why it doesn't work when you buy that piece of that, that template newsletter from whatever that has the whatever in it. Right. It's why the first five, 20 minutes of a first meeting, we've been teaching workshops on first meetings forever too, that like nobody wants to hear, nobody nobody cares about AUM, nobody cares about I, about professional designations other than like maybe one or two, certainly like you don't need another one, Kitsis. <laughs> um, I play that joke with Michael all the time, so it's fine. But but yeah, nobody cares. So here's the deal: where it comes from is it is deeply we're hardwired. We've been trained since we were. It's the same place that it comes from when you when you have it squashed out of you that you don't know how to be an artist. It's the same place, right? We are hardwired to not go outside of the herd. Everybody behaves as you think doing that equals death. That's literally how you feel. Like if I go, if I do this thing where I'm a little different, I like what you're essentially asking people to do is stand out and be different. What people think stand out and be different means is die, right? Because you're going to, you're going to get, you're going to get kicked out of the herd mm -hmm. and everybody knows if you get kicked out of the herd, you're going to die. You'll be yeah. eaten by a lion. So I, I think we just, we're wired. It's very similar to the imposter syndrome. It's very similar to all those. We're wired in a way that kept us alive as a species. It's very similar to investor behavior, to be honest. Like you're wired to get more of what gives you security and pleasure and run away from things that cause you pain. That's kept us alive as a species, but it's not very good when it comes to investing. That means buy high and sell low. It's also not very good when it comes to marketing because it means sound the same as everybody else. And so we just need to realize like no, nobody, and you don't like it either. You know, like you, when you're doing it, you don't enjoy it. You're like, ah, blah, 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 blah. like you really just want to go like, because this is what happens to me. I'll writing some of that stuff. And then I'll just be like, no. And like in like a fit of rage, I'll tear the thing up and just be like this. And I'll just say it. And then I'm like, yeah, that. Yeah, that. Right. And that's, I mean, I've done that a couple of times in my life and, and I know why people think it's going to be painful because it is painful. Our industry is terrible. We, we do eat people who decide to stand out. I mean, I, I could show you the emails. So if you, if you care about that stuff, you know, but I'm telling you, I have a unique perspective because I've written for the industry for a long time and I've written for the public for a long time. 10 years every week with the New York Times. I have the emails to prove it. They don't want to hear that crap. They, they just want, they want to work with somebody who's a human. They want right. you to stop using those words. They look at those websites and go, seriously, another lighthouse? Like, like I, so I'm telling you that's what they want. I'm telling you the fear. There's no lions. I mean, there's a few lions, but you're not going to die. 